guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back and watching this video today we're going to be doing my paycheck number two breakdown for the month of may and i'm going to also be reconciling my first paycheck in may let's just go ahead and get right into this video i was i wanted to use another bubbly but i drank that for dinner tonight so it's going to be the same one but my next video my cash stuffing i'm going to have another flavor so just make sure that you stay tuned for that so for now let me just crack this open <sighs> Ooh, i'm kind of full because i had one already for dinner but i gotta drink this for you guys all right let's just get this booklet open i use the budget by paycheck workbook from the budget mom okay so here's my first paychecks layout i went ahead and filled out all my actuals i'm going to enter my income slash rollover any money that i cash flowed into my checking account and then we're going to add these up deduct it and see what my ending balance is Okay, so my total income for this paycheck was, let's see here, it was $2,215.50. Again, guys, this is not my income alone. This is with rollover. This is also with any money that I replenish my account cushion with. I'm going to add all this up and then write it down here under the total. I'm going to add this up. And we're going to add up these totals okay so now we're going to take the total income and plug it into the calculator 0 0.50 and we're going to deduct 5.12 and 18 cents and that is $1,703.32. It's $1,703.32. Man, my AC is so loud. And then a motorcycle is driving by. Okay, now we're going to deduct $340.01. And that total is $1,363.31. Okay, we're gonna bring this down here. And then we're gonna deduct 174 and four cents. So that's $1,189.27. So we're gonna carry this over here. What was that again? 118.27. So we're gonna do 1189.27 minus 209. Let me put here 209. And this is 980.27. 980.27. Subtract 78 is 902 and 27 cents. All right. So now I'm going to show you guys what my ending balance is to see if it matches. So this number right here, 90227, matches my ending balance here, 90227. And like always, I'm going to put a clip of my account. This was my balance the day before I got paid. All right, guys. So um, I do want to say, though, in the beginning, I did not pay my car tag. So I'm going to carry that money over into my next paycheck. All right. So let's just get right into my paycheck number 
to a breakdown. Okay, so let's just start plugging in the budgeted amounts. So my car tag is gonna be 40. Weight Watchers is a 14. 63 and I'm not even doing Weight Watchers I joined it and I haven't started but they billed me after my first month free so anyways my car note is going to be 145 41 CVS All Access is going to be 9.99 and my rent for June is 8.56 and 80 cents and then my cell phone is 25 so my cell phone bill actually is 50 bucks a month but I'm about three months ahead of my cell phone bill so this is gonna be like I think September's but anyway um, that's why I saved 25 bucks uh, paycheck because I use another account to pay my cell phone so I just like to have enough money in there to cover um, what my cell phone is due. Okay, so my cash envelopes, gas is getting 65. Gas is a cashless envelope, meaning the money stays in my account. I don't take the cash out for that. Um, eating out is gonna get its usual 50. Spending is 100. Compra is 120. Household is getting six. Okay, these are my sinking funds. Gifts is getting 17. Supplies is getting seven. Beauty is getting six. Future things is getting six. Black Friday is getting six. Home decor is getting six. Car maintenance is getting six. Medical is getting 10. Um, I did not mean to put the line here. I meant to put it in the line below because I didn't have enough room for my sinking funds. So I'm going to have to just split these two up and on in one line. So, um, emergency is getting 20. Travel is getting six and savings is getting 10. My 26 week challenge, I'm on week 21, 22. Week 22, 21 is gonna get $42. And then week 22 is gonna get $44. All right, so now I'm gonna input the amount here and then do the breakdown. Okay, so I didn't have enough room for my other sinking funds, so I brought it over to this page. Just the breakdown part. Okay, so now I'm gonna fill out the cash denominations breakdown. Actually, guys, supplies is getting seven, not six. Because I think I wanted to round it up. So I'm just going to erase this. And I'll update my other portion later on off camera. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna tally up all of my totals between this section and this section and see how much we're gonna be taking out. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking out a total of 
of $487. So let's just tally up my denominations and make sure that we did that correctly. Okay, so now we're gonna tally up these denominations. Okay guys, so between these two um, breakdowns, I'm gonna be cash stuffing 487 and I'm gonna fill out the little slip tomorrow and go to the bank and withdraw my money. All right guys, so this is the end of my video. This is how I do my breakdown and how I reconcile my previous paychecks. I hope everyone enjoyed this video and that you made it to the end. If you do, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on my next one. Take care.